it, it basically starts dying, as it were, and um, and so we need to get into the market as soon as you possibly can. The USA Health Products Regulatory Authority confirming it has received some concerns regarding life-threatening conditions following people who've received a COVID-19 vaccine. There have been one or two reports that people, perhaps as many as 20, have lost their lives after being vaccinated. However, the authority says there's no evidence that the individual, individuals died as a direct result of taking the vaccine. So with regards to the adverse events following immunization that we see, we've got um, two different categories. So we'll have the non-serious, which relates to those chills, um, fever, a bit of headache, nausea there and there. And then furthermore, we've got the ones that are serious and severe. So the serious and severe, like you indicated, there would be thrombosis. Um, it can also be death. Um, it can be um, hospitalization. So our criteria for serious basically, it talks to hospitalization, it talks to any life-threatening condition that one may experience, death, um, congenital anomaly, whereby maybe there's pregnancy involved. Um, so those are the, the ones that we regard as, as serious. So we, we do see um, serious adverse events following immunization, but those are at a very um, low level, if I may say. And those ones, those are the ones that we do what we call causality assessment, where we determine the linkage between the adverse event and the, the vaccine itself. So those are the ones that we do investigations on. The vigilance manager at SAPRA, Mafora Matlala, is saying that the Department of Health has appointed a team of investigators to look into the situation. Um, so let me clarify something to South Africans. So investigations are not necessarily done by SAPRA. So there's a team um, from the Department of Health that actually do investigations based on the district. So each district will have an investigation team whereby there will be um, people with different uh, expertise in the team that will do investigation. And once they've collected all the necessary information that are required for, for causality to be assessed, then they are taken to National Department of Health, whereby there's a committee, an independent committee that has been um, said by the minister that will do causality assessment on, on these cases. So with regards to the cases that have actually um, went through causality at this point, um, I can remember 55. Those are the cases that went through causality. But I need to mention that some of them, it includes not necessarily COVID-19 cases, but it includes the vaccinations for children because this committee has been existing even before COVID. So it's a normal routine that all adverse events following immunization that are serious, they be investigated, including the one for, for the EPI program for children. The KwaZulu-Natal Premier Sikhla Zekalala is calling on residents.